Well, if you don't have a background as Indiana Jones, let me just tell you a little bit about seaplanes. Uh, they have regular wheels, like planes that land on the earth. And they also have pontoons. They're amphibious. <laughs> and after coming back from St. Thomas, they go up a ramp out of the water and then the wheels take over so they're parked uh, in front of the ticket office on wheels. Oh. Huge oh, wooden propeller and gigantic pontoons, yeah. Well, everybody gets in. It holds eight people total. And uh, okay, they wheel down the ramp and then it's bobbing up on the pontoons. You get it uh, uh, facing towards a stretch of, uh, you know, open water in the bay. And, um, wow, the captain, huh? He pulls back on that wheel. Maximum revs, huh? And the plane takes off. Wow, <laughs> deafening. Whoa, dramatic. Shaking. Well, there's no bullshit lectures about fastening your seat belts or no smoking or, you know. Uh, I mean, if you crash, <clears throat> you're just like uh, junk food for sharks. And, uh, and once he's up, then the captain has got this big ratcheting geared up thing. He, by hand, clackety, 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 he ratchets up by hand the wheels up into the belly of the airboat so it's more aerodynamic and uh, yeah maximum revs huh he lets it rip across the water he's like struggling to get it straight in the water <laughs> the whole thing vibrating like hell you know and uh, monster bird takes off oh and when it takes off Oh, he circles around Old San Juan before straightening out for St. Thomas. There's El Moro. Oh, the women, they got their nose pressed to the, uh, well, it's all scratched up, kind of dirty glass. And uh, yeah, El Moro. And oh, there's Casablanca. Whoa. And then they go to like Isla Verde. Look, there's the El, El San Juan, the, the Americana. And Sexman says, Don, 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 look, there's our catamaran. How can I see that catamaran from an airplane? Well, because the goose flies so low. Not thousands of feet, hundreds of feet. You know, uh, why? Well, they crash a lot. Y'all, oh. Oh, yeah. And, uh, oh. Saxophone's looking out the window. The plane's vibrating so much that she sees a, a rivet. One of the wing rivets. It's vibrating up. It, she wind shears off. A riveting moment for her. Unfortunately, the goose Voodoo, Macumba cursed bird. Yeah, mm -hmm. they got a gruntle this uh, employee. Yeah, he's got in a uh, barrio in a shack. Yeah, in his basement behind the yucky oil refinery in St. Thomas. He hates the goose. And uh, yeah, he made a little putty model of the goose. Huh? And he stuck mm -hmm, pins in it, and then. Smashed it with a hammer. Ooh. Uh, well, uh, you're an innocent passenger, and you would logically assume, let's say, in the rare uh, uh, circumstance that the engine uh, conked out, uh, well, who cares? You're an airship. You've got gigantic pontoons. 
you're flying a few hundred feet above the water. So you just... No. By the engine of a goose. Checks out. You fly into uh, the water like a trolley car. You just go down and as you hit that water, it wind shears off the whole top of the plane and the heads of the passengers. Yeah. I mean, after the last crash, yeah, insurance divers went down with scuba gear. Check it out. Yeah. The captain still had his head. Rare. And, uh, but in, in, in his head, embedded in his head, was his uh, genuine uh, imitation Rolex. Oh, poor bastard. He's like trying to shield, shield his head when it impacted the water. Yeah. Mm. Well, uh, the positive side. Uh, you can always get a seat on the goose. You don't phone ahead. I mean, it's got a reputation, huh? The smugglers use it. Just get in. Throw you in the back and there aren't any seat belts anyway, so um you know so your suitcase is dripping with blood. Nobody gives a fuck, okay. And besides it's a cheap ride. Thirty-five dollars to St. Thomas. One way, yeah. Well, let's talk about the Virgin Islands a little bit. There's three of them. St. Thomas being the most popular and large one. Uh, we've got nice ridgy hills too. Uh, so it's pretty. And then St. Troy flat. Flat like the breasts of a French broad. No tits on uh, St. Croix, huh? And then St. John, oh, the jewel. Mm -hmm. They're going to be going over there, too. I'll tell you all about that in a few minutes. Right now, we're headed for the hippie haven for a party.